All right, all right. How's everybody doing today? Good, good. Are you guys as jazzed up as I am from this morning's event? Right? I mean, some new cell phones, some new Fab 2 Pro. We got ex exciting things. Now, hopefully this event is going to be exciting as well, and I guarantee it will be. We have some great things from the business side, right? This is our tech world for business. Now, it's exciting. It's eventful. We've got some great products in the back. We've got some tablets. We've got the X1 Carbons. We've got some workstations back there for you guys to look at. So if you haven't had a chance to look there before the event, make sure you take some time afterwards and look at our stuff. We have some great devices, OK? So I'm an ambassador, but I'm going to be your MC for today. OK, so I'm going to have a little bit of fun. And uh, hopefully, you guys are going to get some great information from what we have today. Uh, and I like to go over you know, first the agenda, right? What are we going to be doing? What are you guys here to, uh, to see today? And basically, what we're going to start off with is our president of uh, Lenovo North America, Emilio Ghilardi, is going to come up. And he's going to share some interesting things about Lenovo coming through. And then after that, we're going to have some of my colleagues are going to come up, Stephen Miller and Sophie Sheehan are going to come up. They are also their ambassadors. And then we're going to take a 15-minute break, right? So I know all of us like you know our 15-minute break. It almost turns into like 20 minutes, right? So let's make sure we do our 15-minute break so we can stay on track. And then after that, we're going to have Madhu Mata come up, and, and as well as Brian Connors. And they're from our data center group. And they're going to talk to you about some exciting things coming from our data center. So is everybody ready for today's event? All right, we had some lunch. Right, hopefully you guys, you know, not tired on me. Let's make sure that we, we pay attention. I know some of that lunch, that was great lunch. I was very hungry myself. So without further ado, let me bring up Emilio Ghilardi, Vice President of Lenovo. Aha, OK, cool. All right, thank you. Welcome. Welcome to San Francisco. My name is Emilio Ghilardi. I'm responsible for the sales and marketing uh, activities here in, uh, in uh, North America. I'll say something in a moment about North America. But first of all, I want to uh, thank you all for being with us today. We have a uh, customer from US, but we also have customers from Latin America, as well as customers from China. So we want to welcome you all. My role in the next 20 minutes is somehow to connect this morning for those of you that had the chance to see it, together with what we call Tech World for Business. This morning, the event was mostly centered around mobility. We launched these new exciting technologies and products. But as you will hear in a second, we have a much bigger spectrum and portfolio of products. Uh, we start from our heritage in PC, the Think brand. And we have recently, two years ago, acquired the System X business from IBM. So we have a significant uh, portfolio of products aimed at business. So today we'll be spending more time talking about that. But um, what I want to do just before going there, I want somehow to take a step backward and just revisit some of the exciting things we have heard this morning. Why, why talking about the evolution of Lenovo's strategy, going from a device-centric into device plus cloud, as well as IT infrastructure. Millions of devices are already today connected into the grid. In fact, we as consumer, or we as employed, or people responsible for running IT within large companies, we know that several years ago, we were counting about one connected device per employee. What's the number today? Two, three, four? How many are going to be down the road? So we can only imagine what is going to happen in the next 10, 20, 50 years in respect of this connected world. So this morning, very exciting, but it was, as I said, centered around mobility. Lots of exciting things happening. You see the power of a company like Lenovo when it's combined with key partners like Intel, like Google, and many more that you have heard about today. Today, you have only seen a glimpse of what we describe uh, at Lenovo as customer-centric innovation. Let's move forward and talk about, uh, uh, again, the uh, amount of data in the market today and what is going to happen in the future. We are all familiar with the fact that our companies are storing pentabytes of data every day. 
And most of the time, we don't really know what to do with it. You know, I personally have the issue when I talk about how do I optimize the time my sales organization spend with customers. And the best way to do it is really to start mining data about what conversations are we having when we're coming and visiting you? What questions do you have for us? How good are we in responding to your questions? And so on and so forth. Now, getting the capability to translate data into meaningful information is it what is going to make the difference down the road. So we'll all have to deal with this explosion. And we as Lenovo believe we have the vision, we have the capabilities, and we have the partnerships to become an even more important player in this broader ecosystem. So talking about that, I think it's important to just take a little step backward, just share our vision. This should be pretty familiar with most of you. As it's been said this morning by YY, it's about devices, it's about connected devices that enable services, and it's about building the infrastructure that will make all these things happening in a seamless way. Interesting example Jeff was using this morning, talking about GPS. We use the GPS technology every way, it just works. You know, we don't have to think about how many satellites are up there tracking our position. And so compelling customer-centric innovation is exactly that. Things that would just work, we don't need to care about why, they just bring us value. And that's what we are committed in doing. Our vision about the home of the future, the mobility of the future, and the office or the school, if you want, of the future are very compelling. And they're coming together because they're based on what we think we can do better than most of the others in the market. But we also know what we don't know how to do. And as such, we team up with industry leaders. The history of our um, expansion in the data center specifically is built with relationships, is built with teaming up with other companies that are leader in their own space and that together with us complement the offering for our customers. We'll talk about this in a second. From our vision to our strategy. We started from a device-centric company, the Think Heritage. I'm assuming that most of you are familiar with these uh, type of products. They've been the most successful products in the history of mobile devices, PC mobile devices. And from there, we are expanded to expanding toward mobility. Remember, mobility is much more than mobile devices. So we're going toward mobility. We invested a lot of time this morning talking about the innovation we're bringing into the space, so I'm not going to repeat it, but we are also expanding into the infrastructure. The infrastructure business is what is making Lenovo a more strategic supplier and partner to the businesses. Again, we have this sort of vision for ourselves to become a trusted advisor. Company you can work with in designing the future of your data center. My colleagues will go much more specific in talking about our vision and our plans in the space, but it's a very exciting conversation. It's, I can talk every day with people about our new uh, generation of Think products. They're very exciting, don't get me wrong, we love them. And I'm sure you have seen them if you're not already using them. But when you talk about a data center-less company, what's your strategy, how can we help? It's a very exciting and very compelling type of conversation. When you talk about going away from having to invest 70, 80% of your IT budget just to keep lights on and reverse this into maybe having available 80% of your IT budget down the road to actually make your business more efficient, to get into new markets, to disrupt existing uh, businesses and take advantage of it. That is the power of being able to team up with a company that has the vision, the capabilities, as well as the relationships and partnership to make these things happen. So with that in mind, let's go back a second to the concept of customer-centric innovation. Here are some examples of the things we've been bringing to market. All the products you see around here are in the market today. In fact, you may remember that at the beginning of this year at CES, we launched probably the largest and best complete portfolio of devices in the history of Lenovo. Just as a reminder, we won 
more awards for product invention at CS than any other player in the industry. And we're very proud of that because these products bring innovation that makes the life of our customers easier, better, or both. And that is on a device side. Uh, Tango, the product we have launched today, uh, I don't, again, need to go back into this, but it's sort of a way of bringing new meaningful innovation and the data center. The story for us in the data center is gonna be a very long journey. We are in this business for the long run. We believe this, as I said, is extremely important for the future of Lenovo. We believe we bring innovation and we believe we bring a value proposition that is a bit unique. It's a value proposition of doing well what we know how to do and team up with industry leaders to bring a comprehensive solution into the market. We feel very strong about what we're going to be doing in this space. And of course, we want to be able to prove it to you as our customers. Our brand equity is going up. Very recently, Lenovo broke into these top 100 global brands. We're very proud of it because we don't spend millions of dollars in advertising. This has happened on the back of our product innovation. This has happened on the back of customers voting with their portfolio, buying our products and talking about the products they have and be proud about showing the, the, the Lenovo or Moto products that they have decided to purchase. We have been very proud about being in the top 100, but it's just the beginning of the story. Our ambitions are bigger than that. And we all know that it's easy to have ambition. What makes the difference between ambitions and results is the commitment, is the capabilities that you have, is how much you focus your energies in satisfying your customers and being able to always stand behind your products and your solution and your services. We have been pretty proud about what we have achieved in the PC market thanks to uh, our customers. You know that it's three years in a row that on a global basis, we're number one into the PC space. <clears throat> Last data talks about 21.1% 21, 21 market share globally. We have had exceptional results in China, where I think we brought through the 40% share, which is just exceptional. And many other places around the world with similar results. Uh, in North America, oh, by the way, again, I have to mention this, we uh, maybe are a bit ignorant from a, a geographical point of view. When we talk about North America, we mean US and Canada. So we are all aware that Mexico is part of North America, we apologize, but for us belongs to a different organization. So when we say here North America, we talk about US and Canada. Anyhow, with this uh, uh, additional explanation, uh, PC market share, North America, you see it's a, it's a history of success and it's only because of our customers and it because of our partners. We feel very strong about what we have done so far, but don't get me wrong, this is just the beginning of the journey. Growth is the marching order in this business. We will be driving consolidation on a global basis. As I said, Lenovo worldwide 21.1% share we went on record more than a year ago saying that we're driving to 30% worldwide. Why do we want to do that? Very simply, because we believe there are too many players in this industry. And with too many players, the ones that uh, are not getting what they need are the customers. Simply because we don't have enough capabilities to bring the right innovation into the market. There are just too many players that have no reasons to exist in the market. So we'll continue to put pressure on them you have seen many getting out of the market in the last couple of years. We believe more to come. And this will get into back into being a much healthier industry where we can drive innovation that will translate into better productivity and better products for our customers. So a good share result, particularly good on the commercial side of the house. We almost reached 20% share in commercial notebook. But again, don't get me wrong. We are not satisfied with that. This is the beginning. Uh, two of our largest competitors are still significantly bigger than us in this geography. North America intended as US and Canada. So we'll continue to go aggressively into the market, bringing innovation, bringing reliability of, the reliability of our products, the security of our supply chain, 
and of course the efficiency that we can drive by being the largest PC manufacturer in the world and very likely the largest customer of most of the component suppliers in this industry. So looking forward, what can you expect from Lenovo? Broadly speaking, pillar number one is innovation and efficiency. You have seen the innovation this morning on the mobility side of the house. Later, you'll hear more about our current generation of PCs product and the next ideas we have in mind. And of course, and of course, you'll hear us talking about our data centers, existing products, products that we are launching as we speak, as well as the one that we have in the pipeline with the next generation of Intel architecture coming, uh, coming soon down the road. Efficiency is driven by our scale. It's driven by the fact that differently than most of our suppliers, sorry, most of our competitors, if not all of them, we control our own design, we control our own supply chain, we control our own manufacturing. It's not trivial. We can bring a level of efficiency and scale that is unique to the industry. And talking about being unique to the industry, the second pillar is the breadth of our portfolio, from the phone all the way to the most complex data center. That is where we're playing, and that is where we'll continue to be playing, offering the broadest portfolio of products in the industry for consumer and for businesses. And it's important for us to stay on these two axes, the axis of consumer and the axis of business, as well as from mobility all the way to data center. Because as I said, all these things are gonna get together. They will all reside on the grid and something will have to power this grid. And we believe that us will be one of the key players in the market that will be able to bring these things together and actually make them work for our customer. The third pillar I always like to talk is about more what I am responsible for customer-centric support. Our organization is here to serve customers. Our job in life is to listen to your existing needs, maybe projecting together your future needs and being the best in understanding it and translating the needs into solutions that we can bring together with our channel partners to you so that you can do what you need to do, which is developing compelling IT infrastructure and solution for your company and your business to run. We are known in the industry for being fast and we want to continue to be the fastest in responding to the customer, to the partners, as well as to what we see happening in the market. Now being fast is important, but it's equally if not more important being able to run in the right direction. It doesn't really help if you're fast, but you're going in the wrong direction. It helps if you're fast in reacting, because even if you go in the wrong direction, you can correct. And so we have a reputation in the industry we're very proud of, and you can continue to count on us. Because as we always like to say, we never stand still. We are happy about what we have done so far, but we're looking forward to the future. We believe the future is gonna be even brighter. We believe we're bringing something to market. We believe we have the vision, we have the capabilities, and we have the partnerships to make a difference in this industry. 10, 20, 50 years down the road, I guarantee you, Lenovo will be around and will make your company successful. Thank you very much for being with us today. Let me stop here. We'll have time together if you have any question or anything else you wanna talk about. Again, thank you for being with us this morning and this afternoon to the more business to business side of tech work. Thank you very much.